Hi, and thank you for um, joining up and asking for your seven tips to get ahead of moving day. So we know that moving day can be super, super stressful, right? It's um, rated right up there as one of the most stressful times in our life. So that's kind of scary because uh, that's, you know, most of us have to move um, a few times in our lives to so different stages of our lives. So what we do is we want to help make that move as stress-free as possible. So how do you get ahead of <clears throat> moving day? So I'm going to try something a little different. Uh, I'm going to write them down as I speak because I feel like, you know, it helps um, everybody's different learning styles so they get to see it visually, you get to hear it audibly, or audi audibly, <laughs> hear it, uh, you know what I mean. So the first one um, is, uh, may seem super obvious, but you know what? <clears throat> it's really, really important. Start as soon as you know you're moving, even when you're getting your house ready for um, to go on the market, right? When you're minimizing and packing things away, start putting them as if you are packing them to move to your new house and minimize as much as much as possible. So we say start two months before the move or AS. AP, really, because sometimes it's out of your control, right? Because sometimes your house gets sold just like that, and you're kind of like, whoa, I did not expect that. Um, number two, my favorite, because I love them, create a checklist, okay? So um, we actually have a fantastic checklist that you can get a hold of, but you know, create an extensive checklist, no matter what it is, from two months out to the actual moving day. So that way all family members have access to it. Um, they're all gonna know what where you are. Everybody will be on the same page, right? Um, number three, book your movers as soon as possible. Um, because if you have a specific date, so I'm writing numbers ahead. If you have a specific date um, and you really, really need to get them locked in, a great way to find a mover if you don't know is to ask your realtor. You can also ask um, your Facebook community group, friends and family. Hopefully they have a tried and true and trusted uh, mover for you. But get that locked in because that's a huge, huge weight off your shoulders. Um, really suggest getting movers too because it is tough to do by yourself. Um, they can actually offer packing services, um, which is something that we take care of as well. Um, but it's just that it takes that stress and saves that time for you. So number four is, <laughs> seems kind of basic, but again, use up all your food. Okay, so start using it in the freezer. So then it comes to the end of the day, you're not panicking going, ah, oh, I've got all this food left over, I should have used it all up. Um, I guess it depends how far you're moving to, right? But it just saves that effort as well. And it's quicker to clean when you're getting the move out clean done too, right? So number five, so change of address. Make sure you do that as soon as possible as well, um, if you know where you're moving to. Uh, so start notifying, um, you can go to the post office and make sure that anything comes in, they get a change of address. Um, start changing your bank accounts, um, letting them know what, what your new address is. Um, and all your important documents, so the school, um, doctors, dentists, and that kind of thing, right? So then number six is to um, complete a floor plan of your new home. And the reason you want to do this is because um, you want to know if your furniture is going to fit into your new home. Even though you've got the movers and they've already given you a quote, it's okay because it can change a little bit, right? If you decide to not take as much furniture, obviously it will be cheaper. So you need to create a floor plan and the reason is so you need furniture placement, so you need to measure your spaces, make sure that sofa, make sure that um, chest of drawers is going to fit in there. Um, and then if not, <clears throat> if you find some things aren't going to fit, now you can donate or sell those items and then look at purchasing new items, okay? So number seven is to create a folder. So create a folder where you can have all your moving documents all together. Um, again, all the family knows 
um, what's going on. Um, you know, perhaps it's you who's organizing it as in then your other, the other person in the family gets a phone call, you're away, they don't know what's going on, they can grab that folder and that information is taken care of. You're not ending up like, oh, can you take care of this, please, quick hurry, you know, that kind of thing. And then when you come home, you have to deal with all that. Um, I realize that that probably is backwards there too. Um, but anyway, so that is our seven top tips for moving and um, to get you ahead of moving day. Like I said, we do have a really, really good extensive checklist that you can grab. Um, and it's just it's super helpful because then it takes that stress away and you know where you're at with everything. Okay, well, thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed our tips. And um, we will uh, talk to you later. Bye.